Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome to my new Let's Play. That's right, we're finally going to be playing the game Shovel Knight. Uh, Shovel Knight was an indie title that was released in 2014 by Yacht Club Games. It's a very, very recognizable indie title. A lot of people have played this game. Uh, a lot of people have given amazing reviews and raves about this game. Uh, Shovel Knight's probably one of the most uh, highly requested characters for Super Smash Bros. He has his own amiibo, for crying out loud. It's This game has done a lot in the world of gaming in the last decade, and uh, honestly, um, I can definitely see why. Um, Shovel Knight definitely, I think, draws a lot of inspiration from a lot of you know very classic kind of action-adventure games. Games like Mega Man, Castlevania, etc., etc., uh, but what I think makes this game amazing is that, you know, it has those very obvious inspirations, but at the same time, it makes its own identity and does an amazing job with it. I love the soundtrack of this game, the presentation of this game is amazing, the gameplay is amazing, it, it's a fantastic title, and I'm glad that I had the opportunity to play this, and I'm very excited to have the opportunity to let's play this game for you guys. Uh, so, this game has a lot of features and a lot of DLC. Um, we're obviously going to start out just by playing the main uh, story, main mode of gameplay, uh, you know, as we normally do. Uh, I do eventually want to check out all of the uh, DLC adventures as well, uh, just because I think they're a big part of this game. And I think one thing that's cool about that is, you know, they've still been working on this game uh, in, you know, recent years. Uh, the most recent DLC actually came out within the last year, and uh, so it just shows that you know, the developers of this game really have put a lot of work in this game, and they're still putting a lot of work in this game as well. That's why we've never seen, like, a really an official Shovel Knight 2 yet, because they're just still trying to get all the value out of this amazing game. Um, I am personally playing the Steam version of this game. Uh, the Steam version, Treasure Trove, has all the DLC from the get-go. Um, it wasn't extra paid DLC either, which I think was great. And, um... The great thing about Shovel Knight is, even if you don't have Steam, you can get this on pretty much any current-gen video game platform. Um, even last-gen video game platforms had this game. So it, it's a very, very accessible game, and uh, it's definitely worth checking out if you have the uh, ability to play this game, because it's a lot of fun and it's a great game. But I think I've said enough. Let's go ahead and get this started, uh, get this moving here. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just very quickly delete this file because failed recording it happens. <laughs> if you're a Let's Player, be prepared for failed recording takes. It, it honestly just happens. Uh, so we're going to start a new game here. Um, we have a couple of characters to choose from. Um, you have Shovel Knight, which is the main character, obviously. Uh, but you also have Plague Knight, Spectre Knight, and King Knight. Uh, these are basically all the uh, DLC packs that came out um, through the years. And again, we will be checking these out at some point, but uh, for the first playthrough, uh, we're going to obviously stick with Shovel Knight here. So we're doing Shovel Knight, the Shovel of Hope. Um, we're going to just name our character Slim. Uh, we already named our first file Slim Kirby, so, you know, we'll just go with shorthand this time and just go with Slim. I think that sounds like a good idea for me. Uh, so here you have a body swap option. Uh, so, enter body swap mode. Before you begin, would you like to swap the bodies of any characters in the main cast? No, you can perform this action at any time in the pause menu. Uh, just to show this off, um, basically this is just a way where you can, you know, if you want to change the genders or how the characters are referred to in text, um, this is a way you can do that. You can customize any of the characters with how you see fit. I'm not going to do anything here with this, but... Um, I think it's kind of interesting that you have the option. You can even make it completely random if you want. Um, but again, uh, we're just going to go for the default, I think. And uh, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and get this started here. I'm excited, guys. This, this should be a lot of fun. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fates when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. 
When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed and Shield Knight was gone. His spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, the Enchantress and her order of no quarter. Now, the tower is unsealed and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. And uh, we get thrown right into the game. Uh, so yeah, that is the uh, story of Shovel Knight. Uh, as I said before, Shovel Knight's kind of an action-adventure game. Uh, you move around with the uh, control stick or control pad, depending on what controller you're using. Um, you can jump with the... Uh, again, I'm saying A button, but it's probably whatever. <laughs> There's a jump button, because I'm not going to go over the button for every single controller type. Um, you can also use uh, a button to swing your shovel around. Um, one thing that's cool is you can also use the shovel in mid-air, and if you're a fan of DuckTales, you can also uh, do a downward strike with your shovel as well. Uh, this will hurt enemies, and you can also kind of bounce off of enemies too. So, uh, yeah, that's basically what you got here. You can use the shovel to dig up these dirt piles and find treasure. Treasure is something you're going to want to collect throughout the game, because uh, you'll need it to purchase... A variety of different things and upgrades, so obviously we're going to do what we can to try to collect as much treasure as possible. And that's what great adventurers do, right? They collect treasure and save the day. Which, I don't know about you, but that sounds like an amazing life to me. <laughs> I mean, I, I probably wouldn't do it myself because, uh, you know, I wouldn't want to die or get hurt or anything. But, uh, you know, it's still exciting to think about at the very least. I can't deny that. So you can also use the shovel to just kind of go down um, and break blocks of that nature that could be impeding your path as well. And you can also do this. You can bounce off of bubbles. How exciting is that? Uh, so this right here is a checkpoint. Now, uh, be careful with checkpoints because you can actually break checkpoints. Uh, maybe not this one though. Maybe it's maybe that one can't be broken because it's a tutorial one. But um, you can break checkpoints uh, later on in the game. Uh, you get money by doing so, but at the cost of that checkpoint. Because if you break a checkpoint, you can't respawn to it if you die. So keep that in mind and uh, save those checkpoints if you're not, um, you know, if you're, if you're not confident in making it through the level without dying. Uh, much like Mega Man, uh, Shovel Knight does not like spikes. If he touches a spike, he will instantly die, regardless of your health level, so be careful of that. Here we have a bit of a mini-boss. This mini-boss pretty much shows you that uh, the downward shovel strike is a pretty, I don't want to say broken ability, but it's very, very useful in taking out enemies, so um, definitely use it to your heart's content. You can do a lot of damage that way. Also, don't be afraid to uh, check the walls because uh, there might be some hidden little uh, passages or hidden little uh, sections where you can find some extra gold if you're... Uh, or not really gold, just treasure in general. Um, usually there'll be like an indentation on the wall that'll let you know that you can shovel through something like right here. But uh, in some cases there won't be, so just kind of keep your eyes peeled for that kind of stuff. Okay, so... Yeah, much like I said, let's go over here. Take that, you dumb old skeleton. Ooh, looks like we have a musical note over there. That seems interesting to me. That is actually... I forget what they're actually referred to. I think I think they're just called music sheets. But um, basically, in the game, um, you can collect a music for like kind of a sound test feature. And... Uh, in a lot of stages, you'll find, like, one or two of those, so keep your eyes peeled for, um, you know, hidden little sections where you can find that stuff. Like I said, the music in this game is amazing, so obviously having a way to listen to the music whenever you want is, uh, very, very much appreciated. Seriously, the soundtrack of this game is so freaking good. Like, honestly, like, I've played a lot of video games. I've been, I've been gaming since the early 90s. 
Shovel Knight might honestly be one of my all-time favorite soundtracks, and that's saying a lot because, you know, obviously when it comes to retro games and games from, like, the SNES and N64 era, obviously I have, like, quite a soft spot for those eras, but uh, just the fact that a soundtrack in recent years has been able to get me like that, you know, just pumped to listen to the music is, you know, really, really impressive. They did an amazing job with the uh, soundtrack of this game. Okay, another checkpoint, which again, I guess I guess we just can't break them in this tutorial level, which I guess makes sense. I will I will try to show it off though at least once that you can break a checkpoint. Let's just hope I don't like do anything stupid by you know like killing myself and you know making me regret that I did break that checkpoint. But it, it's still too soon to tell that that will happen. So right here you have to be very careful. You are essentially pogo bouncing over an endless abyss. Endless abyss are also basically one hit kills, so be very careful. And also be careful when you're doing like the pogo jump uh, with the control stick. Because um, I find that um, it's easy to kind of not really measure your bounce as well with a control stick because obviously you can move the control stick in more directions than a control pad. So yeah, just, just be careful. Be careful is all I'm saying, really. Also, there's a treasure over here. There's also an enemy in here, too. I'm not fond of that enemy. <laughs> Ooh, a carrot. So if you find any, any sort of food, that's usually just like, it'll heal you, so... Obviously try to grab food whenever you find it, if you're down on health. In that case, like, obviously clear the room first and see if you might need that health later on. And see, even, like, for a tutorial level, this level is pretty lengthy, so it's, like, you know, not really, like, that incredibly, like, short of a game either. I don't think this will take, like, a lot of parts to complete this game or anything, but still, like, you know, very decent-sized levels, which I think is great. Just kind of gives, like... Again, kind of more bang for your buck, I guess. Uh-oh, we have another dragon boy. He's throwing bubbles at me. Gotta be a little careful here, because we are kind of over a pit a little bit. Uh, we did lose some of the treasure to the Endless Abyss, but that's okay. There's no, like, reward for, like, having all the treasure in the world or anything like that. It's just kind of, again, stuff you'll be collecting along your adventure. Uh, so, like, right here, we need to be a little careful. We need to actually cancel the pogo jump so we can get in here and grab that jewel or gem, or whatever you want to call it. I guess they would be called gems. But, yeah, obviously you don't have to, like, individually, like, check every single dirt pile or anything like that. It's just something I do because, again, there's a lot of upgrades in this game, and if you get all the upgrades, you will feel good because you will not only find everything, but you also just have a lot of different, uh, a lot of different uh, abilities and things to choose from. It also just kind of rewards like looking around levels and exploring and checking things out, but there's nothing wrong with just playing through the levels either. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, usually if you have a food item in a room with a checkpoint, that's usually an indication that you have a boss coming up. So who do we have here? I knew you'd show your face sooner or later, the Cerulean Coward. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I have no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses, can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress and her invincible Knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel! <laughs> so yeah, we have to uh, take out uh, the Black Knight here. Black Knight's not too bad, at least in this fight. Yeah, we'll be fighting him again, obviously. Um, one thing you can do is obviously just, uh, you know, you can use your Pogo Bounce. You obviously don't have to, but... If you're, uh, if you're persistent enough, you can get some nice little combos on them. 
see, even he has his like own little downward thrust move too. Uh, but as you can see, there is a uh, boss health meter at the top right of the screen. So you can see how close you are to killing the guy. And whenever you do get the kill on an enemy, you get a cool little slowdown cinematic like that, which is kind of neat. And you also get a nice little monetary reward for defeating your foe as well. But of course, like all Black Knights, they run away being a little scaredy cat. I don't think that's actually a common attribute of all Black Knights, but uh, it is at least of that one, that's for sure. So it looks like... Uh, looks like Shovel Knight's having a bit of a dream right now. Oh no, we need to catch her! But alas, it was just a dream. Wait! Only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> so yeah, once you beat this first level, um, you'll actually unlock the map. And as you can see, there's actually quite a number of things we can do on the map here. Um, you can go straight for the next levels, which are... Uh, well, actually, we can't. We have to actually go to the village first. Um, but um, basically, those Q icons, those are going to be essentially like our next levels. And you actually have a choice of which one you can go to. Um, the locks you see on the map, they're basically um, connected to those levels. Uh, they will not uh, open up until you beat the bosses of their respective uh, colors. Uh, the gem stages are just kind of like small little bonus stages where you can get a lot of money. And uh, we'll discuss that tree icon next time. I'm probably not going to do any other more levels in this video. I'm just going to kind of explore this town here. Um, halt! No weapons! We have enough to worry about lately with everyone swinging swords around. Oh, haha, that's no weapon. Just a shovel. You may enter then, and don't forget. Press the control pad to talk to everyone. So yes, we have lots of different NPCs we can talk to. Let's talk to this horse guy right here. Here's a secret. In Pride More Keep, going left first is right. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Let's talk to you. Ooh, you've got a pretty face. You should come visit often. Oh, thank you. I like to look nice on my day off. Well, I think everyone does. Well, I don't know. I, I, I tend to like just like wear pajama pants on my days off. Uh, fisherman, I have yeah. Have you ever seen sparkles rising from a bottomless pit? Those spots is where the real riches is. That's very bad English. Um, can we talk to you before you go off screen? I think we did. You gotta. Oh, wait, no, I know. I talked to you already. Oh well. You. Some knights may look down on your choice of weapon, but between us, I dig it. Oh, okay. You can just go away. Uh, let's talk to this guy. This fancy guy with the little uh, guitar or whatever this instrument is. Hail, Traveler! I am but a simple bard, but I have a big problem. I've lost all my music sheets. My entire repertoire lays across, scattered across the land. If you ever find a music sheet, return it to me and I shall reward you handsomely. Whoa, you have two music sheets. Magnificent. Take 500 gold for each. Will do. Wonderful. Let's see here. Ooh, you found Strike the Earth. Ah, ostinato trumpet triplets. Is there anything you can't render into pure magic? Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you any time. Just ask. So yeah, basically, if you talk to him, um, you can actually play any of the songs you've gotten. Uh, these songs are here by default, I believe. Um, but if you uh, scroll over, you can play some of the other songs you found along the way. So let's play, let's play Strike the Earth. Literally just the song from the last level. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much what that is. Again, kind of the sound test feature of this game. I think if you hit this... Yeah, if you hit this, magic can come out. We don't have anything that can use magic just yet, but um, we'll obviously go over that later. Let's talk to you. Ah, decisions, decisions. Should I extend my magic or health? Or just eat a tin can? Why not buy my meal ticket and help narrow my options? Uh, how much is it? 1,000? I think we can go ahead and spring for that. Uh, so yeah, we got a meal ticket. With this meal ticket, we can talk to this guy right here. A meal ticket? Hand it to me. I'll get to work on my best recipe. I'll dazzle your palate in no time or less. So bon appetit and pardon the mess. So basically this is a 
pretty much a health extension here. So eat this, and yes, we extended our health by one unit, I guess. Um, here you can extend your magic, but again, I don't have a way to use magic yet, so there's not really a reason to do that. So let's not even worry about that for right now. Um, down here, well, first of all... Hi, Music Sheet. <laughs> Uh, who do we have in here? We have the Croaker. Hey, Shovel Knight, I know things are tough, but don't throw in the Trowel. Bad. Uh, <laughs> we have the Trapple Acolyte. Hello, first friend, fish friend, all hail the Truple King. Who? You've never heard of the Truple King? Half trout and half apple? Pronounced like mouthful. Oh, Trapple. Okay, that's what it is. He's one of the forest gods, here to help those in need. I'm telling the truth. If you ever visit the Sacred Grotto, hold your chalice aloft and the Trapple King will appear. As it happens, I have been entrusted to sell Trapple chalices to believers. Would you like one? Um, I would like to buy one. I'm going to hold off just on a second, though. So I'm going to talk to you. Psst. Hey, blue guy. You wouldn't believe the merchandise I got for you today. Want to have a look? Okay, so we do have some things we can buy from this guy. We have a fishing rod. And we have a chaos sphere. Uh, let's actually... I'm trying to think if we can actually buy everything, like, including one of the chalices. So if I buy if I buy a chalice and the orb... Okay, I can't get everything. I do need to get the fishing rod immediately, so let's go ahead and get that. I guess I'll just get both chalices, and we'll come back to the ch uh, chaos sphere later. <clears throat> so yeah, we'll just go ahead and buy both of these. Uh, chalices, uh, think of them like the bottles from The Legend of Zelda. Um, basically, um, you can put stuff in them and, uh, you can use them during your adventure and they can be pretty helpful. We'll, uh, we'll see what they do later. Let's, let's get one more bad joke for the road. Psh, that King Knight, you give him an inch, he thinks he's a ruler. Ugh. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, let's also talk to these fine folk here. Juice Maid, ah, new face. Dancers, acolytes, witches, goats, everyone's welcome in here. Oh, that Spectre Knight. If someone could defeat him, I would bestow upon them my greatest treasure. Oh, woe is me, the king of nothing, not to rule but my lone barstool. King Knight sits on Pridemore's throne. That gilded goon, he'll get his soon. Double trouble, soil and shovel. My third eye knows your useless infos. Excavatio, the number of dig piles you've dug is seven. Arum Infinosia. The amount of gold you've collected is 6,007. Thanato Rafutatam. The number of times you've fallen in battle is zero. Temporum Perputua. The total time you've spent adventuring is 18 minutes and 4 seconds. I magically see your axe. Come back again for more useless facts. Thanks for helping me, kindly witch. I am not a witch! <laughs> there is actually something else down here, but uh, I will be ending this video soon, so I don't want to get started on that right now. Plus, uh, I might want to get some more gold before I do what I have planned anyway. Wow, incredible. You really are Shovel Knight. <laughs> I guess he really liked that I did that. Uh, so in town here, you can uh, bounce on this ring for fun. Not really any practical reason for doing that, though. But there is also a music note up there. How do we get that? Well... Thankfully, that kindly lady out there will help us get this. Also, who the hell are you? Shovel Knight, many trials await you. Don't despair. May each defeat strengthen your resolve. Okay, that's, that's a good way to look at it, I guess. Uh, so, another thing, before we actually advance on, um, if you actually press uh, the... Again, it's hard to say which button it would actually be on whatever controller you're playing as. Um, in my case, it's the X button. You can actually see that there are some more music sheets in the level, and you can actually use this as a way to basically tell if you're missing anything in a level, or at least music sheet-wise. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the village. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pay one quick visit to the uh, Trapple Pond really quick, just so we can uh, see what this place is all about. Oh my god! He's huge! <laughs> Who has awakened me, mortal? Doust thou need aid? Aid me. I sense a trapple chalice. I can fi fill it with magical ichor. That's pronounced I- oh, ichor. Sorry. Choose your ichor wisely. 
So basically you have three choices. You have the Ichor of Renewal. It refills all health and magic. You have the Ichor, Ichor of Boldness. Become invincible for 10 seconds. And you have the Ichor of Fortune. Absorb nearby treasure for 60 seconds. Uh, I do think that these two are better than this one. Um, I think the most useful is probably the refills all health and magic because, again, if you get into a pinch, that's honestly a good one to have. But the invincibility one is also good too, so let's just go with the uh, renewal for right now. And, oh, we can get a second one. Oh, there we go. Oh, I guess I hit no. Subjects, a new initiate joins us. The ceremony shall commence. Fare thee well, Shovel Knight. Return if thou hast need of my aid again. So yeah, you can come back here and get refills and all of your chalices as well. And I guess I did fill up both of them, so that was a little bit of a mistake, but whatever, it happens. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to show off really quick is after I get out of this menu, if we go back to the map and we look at the info, there is actually a music sheet here. Well, just for fun, let's just go ahead and... Uh, Switch to our fishing pole here. Do some fishing. Do 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 fishing. What do you think you're doing, mortal? I don't think you like that. Let's do it again. Oh, maybe I have to do it here. Did I get it? Oh, I got it. I, okay, I guess I did get it. I didn't see it on screen. I just may have not been paying attention. But yeah, we get uh, some more music sheets. We'll turn those in a bit later. Um, I don't want to get too much gold right now because there is kind of a penalty for having too much sometimes, but I'll discuss that next time. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I know we didn't do a lot of gameplay here, but now that we've gotten through all the kind of beginning stuff and we've explored the town, um, we should be able to just kind of get through things a lot faster next. So um, next time I'll see you for nothing but straight up gameplay. It should be a lot of fun. Thank you for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this Let's Play, and I will see you guys next time. Later, folks.